All right, so in this video, we're checking out the HDLRC ALS 2004 or 2004 kV motor. It's the uh, purple version, as you see here. And I already did, um, well, I already flew the uh, 3000 kV version. I think it's uh, one that's on the Recon 5. This one here. So if you want to see what that one flies like on a 5 inch prop, uh, check out the Recon 5 video. I'll link that down in the description. Uh, I flew these. Uh, 1800 kV versions on a 5 inch um, on this setup here on 6S and uh, this is a frame that I haven't uh, flown in a while because it had uh, this is the Tomaquad's uh, Katana V2 and I flew these originally on the 1606 motors I believe from BFPB. I actually forgot which ones I put on here uh, but I kind of just rebuilt the whole quad, um, different flight controller stack set up here. I'm testing something new for Newbie Drone. Uh, is that the same camera set, set up here with the Canix uh, Nebula Micro e version? I did upgrade the receiver. I have a crossfire receiver here in the front, and I'm using the HQ 5 inch bi-bladed props. So, you know, I'll show you what the motor looks like here up close. I also posted some photos to my Instagram. I believe these motors are manufactured by RCN Power. Uh, they, they probably make a lot of the motors that you see out in the market these days that are rebranded uh, by various other manufacturers and uh, they just make a lot of motors. And they're pretty high quality motors. I mean, I like the stuff that comes from RCN Power. I believe um, this branding labeling is gonna be a little bit different. Um, HGRC is gonna change this down the road so it might look a little, a little bit different. In, in, in a final production. So this is like an early batch. I don't think the actual uh, specs of the motor are gonna change any. Nice copper windings. I, I'm not sure if those are curved magnets or not. Mm, yeah, they might be. Air gap's super tight. It's not a notchy motor. It's a very, very, very smooth motor. It does have a C-clip on the bottom there. Uh, 12 millimeter mounting for your M2 screws and a standard uh, prop mounting for your T-props on top. And um, not a whole lot of motor wire length here, but it's pretty thick gauged motor wire. I think it's uh, yeah, it's 20 gauge wire and show which is ways. So the motor and uh, full length wire is coming in at uh, 17 grams. So the uh, battery that I'm using here is a 6S uh, 550 milliamp hour um, battery from, I think it's from Kodar. Uh, it's got an XT30, so it's XT30 here on the quad. Um, the quad weight's significantly heavier now because I did add the uh, LED race wires on here. Um, also a full size 20 by 20 stack. So you can go back and check out this video, what it weighed on the 1606 motors. It's, it's definitely less than it is now. And we're coming at 309 grams with the um, 6S550. And typically when you go five inch and six S, you're gonna be over the 250 gram limit. Uh, so without the battery, it's 205 grams. So yeah, the battery is, yeah, it's almost it's over hundred grams by itself. Uh, six S 550, 103 grams by itself. So if you're trying to target that 250 gram limit, my recommendation, my suggestion is don't get the 1800 kV 2004 motors, get the 3000 kV motors and just build lighter. Um, use an all-in-one and then go with a, instead of a 6S, go with like a 4S, uh, not a 550, something like a 4, 650, 750, somewhere in that range is gonna get you right around 250 grams. Um, anyway, here's, uh, well, I'm just, you know, I'm probably showing you flight footage already. And yeah, here's the rest of that flight. So let me know what you guys think of this motor. I'm going to actually have this, not this one, the 3000 kV version on another video soon. Actually, I already have it built. Um, haven't flown it too much yet though. So this is the uh, 2004 motor on the uh, 3000 kV on uh, Mega B with a slammed, uh, well, different duct here. here I'll show you that in. The next video or later on, but it's got the new HQ five bladed props. This is a very interesting setup, much later than it was before with the 1507 motors. But that's a uh, that's a topic for another day. 
and uh, stay tuned for that video. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you don't miss that video. That's going to do it for this one. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.